My stashing workflow looks a little something like this. I usually have some amount of work that's in my index or my work tree, and I get a request in that says, hey, can you please investigate this bug? Or hey, you need to pull in the latest changes, because if you pull in the latest changes, the feature you're developing will have a couple extra APIs that you need. Which means I'm gonna have to take my changes, create a commit, pull in the new changes, finish off the change I wanted to make, create another commit, then squash those two commits into one, or I could just stash my work tree and my index pull in the changes, and then pop off my stash when I need to get back to doing what I was doing and finish the change I was trying to make. Now, the times that I don't do that approach, the times that I don't choose stash, which often I do, is whenever I had to pull in a change, but I'm already in several commits into a change I'm trying to make. Typically, I try to keep my changes pretty small, but every now and then you'll have like a thousand line change. And whenever I have a big change like that, I try to make small commits along the way as nice checkpoints in case I screw something up so bad that I can just roll back to the last known working commit and then start again. So if that happens, I simply make another temporary commit, rebase in my changes, and then at the end of everything I'm doing, I already have worked in that I'm going to squash everything down to one commit anyway, so it doesn't bother me. 